see. That's the exact same as the day. <laughs> wait, 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 pause, pause, pause. I'm gonna give you guys my honest thoughts and the real tea because I'm not about to play with those pockets. I don't think that I can have this Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, we are going to be doing a battle of the blow dryers. So today we're going to be comparing the Dyson Supersonic blow dryer to the Tymo Air Hype Light blow dryer. I really wanted to make this video for a while because y'all know I love this blow dryer right here, but I have seen a lot about this Tymo blow dryer and how it's essentially like a dupe for this one. And so I was like, yeah, we, we, we got to get into it. So basically my goal with this video is to just see whether this blow dryer can give me the same results as this one with it being basically half the price. So I already just washed my hair. If you want to see that, check out my previous video and I've applied, you know, my leave-in conditioner and my hair butter, which will be restocked very soon. I would say my hair really isn't even soaking wet. It's about 70% dry. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just start with the Dyson blow dryer because I already know the results it's going to give me. Y'all know, I have used this blow dryer for I want to say the past two years y'all have seen it in so many videos and I've also been honest about the fact that I actually never even bought this blow dryer it was sent to me by a wig company and some PR thing but I've always said that I'm not sure if I would actually purchase this with my own money just because I feel like it's so expensive for a blow dryer and I've always felt like there are other options on the market that are less expensive that can give you similar results I think I'm gonna use this blow dryer on the right side of my head because that one is slightly like slightly more difficult to do and like this is more expensive so this should be no problem and we're gonna do the time out on the left side of my hair but one of my favorite things about this blow dryer is how the attachments just lock in place like that like they're magnetic Okay, so that took like, like I said, my hair is about 60-70% dry, so I knew it wasn't going to take that long. But as you can see, it gives me a very nice blow dry. My hair is nice and smooth, and like I said, it just does a really good job, and it's quick and powerful. So many things that I left So we are finished with the Dyson side. This literally took me less than 10 minutes. It was very quick, very powerful. Heat dispersed nice, so don't get heat damage. Like, honestly, like I said, it's $450, so it, it should do this. Like, I wasn't expecting it not to do this. All right, so now for the fun part, let's get into the Tymo Air Hype Light Blow Dryer. Just like the Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer, it has three heat settings that go all the way up to 210, as well as it does have a cool shot like the Dyson does. This one, to me, feels lighter than the Dyson Blow Dryer, and it is a little bit smaller which I honestly am not mad at especially if it has the same power as the Dyson and like the Dyson which I was really excited to find out the attachments just clip on like this all right let's test out how powerful this airflow is before I actually use it on my hair because I want to see whether it can compare all right let's see what the heck oh my goodness 
That's the exact same as the Dyson. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, this is the Dyson. Okay. And this is the Timo Air Hype. Dare I say it, but this one is a little bit more powerful. <laughs> Like the tiniest bit, but like, I could tell. I did notice that like the the comb attachment on this one is a lot bigger than this one. So you probably have to go in like slightly smaller sections, but honestly, I don't feel like that would be a huge deal breaker. So let's just see. Okay, the first section's done. It took about the same amount of time as this one, and I'm not mad at it, y'all. Okay, let me let me just finish my head. I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts. As you guys could probably tell, this is a sponsored video, but regardless, I'm gonna give you guys my honest thoughts and the real tea because I'm not about to play with those pockets. So this blow dryer is definitely not the same as this blow dryer. And I mean, I wasn't expecting them to be exactly the same because this, again, is $250 more. So of course, this should be like a lot different than this one. But I can confidently say I do feel like this is a pretty decent dupe for this one if you do not want to spend $450. I would definitely recommend getting this one because you're gonna get about 60 to 70 percent of the same things in this one that you would get in this one for example like i said earlier you get three heat settings with both of these this one does get slightly hotter like i would not even touch the high heat on this one if i'm feeling you know a little risky or whatever i might do the high heat one on this one but they're essentially they give you the same heat settings and I mean if you're natural you're not really ever gonna like want to use the high heat setting anyways also get a cool shot with both of these and you get your pick of air speed and airflow and they literally have the exact same like airflow this is a and they literally have and they have the exact same airflow honestly they low-key wrong for making this airflow the same one as this one this one like I said earlier is slightly more powerful so it's gonna get you nice and right and this helps to distribute the heat really well so that you're not getting heat damage like <laughs> that's a really big plus like that's one of the reasons why this one's so expensive because of how the air flows in this one and prevents you from getting heat damage so that's a really good plus now i would say the difference with them is more so not like the electronic like parts of it but more so just like the physical appearance and like the handling of the blow dryer so of course as you can see this one is smaller than this one and i will say that i like this attachment so much better than this one i'm not even gonna cap versus this one's like shorter and a little bit stubbier and as i was doing it i'm not even gonna cap this one this attachment popped off a couple of times or it would do this now I will say, I think part of that was because my hair was a lot drier than it normally is when I blow dry. But I would recommend, honestly, just detangling your hair before you go in with this. So detangling each section first, and I feel like it'll be perfectly fine. I just did not detangle the sections. So at the end of the day, I personally feel like I would probably go and buy this one. Like I said, I never bought this one for myself. And knowing me, I love dupes because if I don't have to spend my money, I'm not going to. And 
I would honestly buy this one. If I didn't use this one, I wouldn't even know what I was missing out on. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Definitely comment your thoughts about the blow dryers. If you tried the Dyson, let me know how you like it. If you tried the Timo, let me know how you like it. If you gonna go get it, let me know as well. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, put your notifications on so you don't miss any of my uploads, especially my moving to Atlanta vlog, which I think should be up by now. If not, it's my next video. Also, make sure if you want to get the Timo um, blow dryer, make sure that you go to my description. All the information is there as well as a discount code, I believe. Also, comment any other things you want me to review, hair care, skin care, body care, whatever. I'm down for it. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily content. And of course, my hair products will be restocked in the next few weeks. I appreciate you guys' patience. It's coming. Just putting some final touches on stuff and yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Tell me what you're seeing me